Hello and welcome to the- oh my fan is like spinning still, here we go. <clears throat> Hello and welcome to the upload for Monday the 5th of October. Today we're taking all those Blizzcons and wrapping them into a package and also talking about what makes a good plant-based fighting game. <laughs> The weekend was one of the biggest things in the game's calendar, it was BlizzCon. Lots happened, let's dive into the big bits. Biggest of all was the reveal of a new Diablo title, Diablo Immortal, the series' first MMO ARPG. That's massively multiplayer online action role-playing game. There's an action in there. Action and massively seem really redundant in that amalgamation of letters. It'll be coming exclusively to mobiles sometime in the future. Set between the last two games, Blizzard has promised a authentic Diablo gameplay at your fingertips. How awesome is that? I bet if you were a Diablo fan, this would be pretty cool. And even if you weren't a fan of this idea, you'd probably understand it's a jumping on point for a brand new audience, like your friends. Your friends are gonna be able to jump into Diablo, get in the hellish world with you. It's gonna be great. I bet fans are excited. I'm wondering, is this uh, an out of season April Fool's joke? <laughs> Oh. You see, people suck. Despite Blizzard outwardly stating there wouldn't be a new mainline Diablo title, the internet still held out hope. So when the centerpiece of the BlizzCon keynote was a mobile title, fans got riled. And not just in the Blizz Hall, but over on YouTube. The cinematic trailer currently stands at over 421,000 dislikes. Which is just a little silly, although Blizzard have reportedly been taking down negative comments and rolling back the dislikes somehow. It's a little bit dirty, really. It's a big mud fight of idiots. Um, Blizzard have explicitly stated it's for a new audience. It's not for Diablo fans per se. Diablo fans will enjoy it, but it's not for you. So, you know, if you don't enjoy it, just don't play it. One point that needs to be addressed, though, is the claims of the game being a reskin of an already existing mobile title. And it, it absolutely is. Crusaders of Light is a game which features five playable classes, and grind and loot based gameplay fairly similar to Diablo. The game is also created by the same company working on Immortal. NetEase. NetEase is also a Chinese developer, so Diablo Immortal's supposed new audience will also be the heavily sought after Chinese market. So in summary, this game might not be for you. You've got three great Diablo games that you can go back and play, one of which is still heavily supported and one of which is just on the Switch now. So shut up, sit down, wait for something that you actually want. Don't get grumpy about things that aren't for you or you don't like. I mean, if you've already disliked and left, I'm sorry, but I'm about to give you some good news. Warcraft 3 is getting remastered. The RTS that launched Warcraft into the public eye will feature updated graphics, animations, and an overall redux to bring everything to high-res 4K quality. The remastered titled Warcraft 3 Reforged will also arrive with an awesome change. All playable heroes can be either male or female with customizable skins for both. The remaster will launch sometime next year. And oh boy, I'm so excited that I reinstalled Overwatch last week because there's a new hero in town. And her name is Elizabeth Caledonia Ash. Revealed in a brand new cinematic alongside her arch rival McCree, Ash is armed with a repeater rifle with sniper tech, along with a sexy batch of dynamite for some explosive power. Her ultimate also has a name, like, like a name name. Its name is Bob. Because it's a big old robot boy that drops in on the scene to cause havoc. Ash and Bob will launch in the game shortly. And get ready for some spending because Overwatch got ya. Lucio's cereal is real and it's coming to a store near you in December. Okay, that story didn't have much, but it's cool. Also, Lego. There's six new Overwatch sets coming to stores in January. One is thankfully an accurate bastion with glowing eyes. Oh God, how good! You can check out all the new sets in the link down below, but I'm gonna talk a little bit so you can, you're gonna, you can see all the sets, at least the box art. Is that all of them? Sweet! Also, Hearthstone has a new expansion, Rastakhan's Rumble. It'll feature 135 new cards and a new single player adventure. This doesn't interest me, but if it did, it would excite me, but I don't care, but I'm still happy for people who would enjoy it. See Diablo fans, it's not hard. Now on with the rest of the news! Anthem is being talked about. <laughs> <laughs> like it's actually gonna work. With a new update video showcasing the ultimate abilities of the Javelins. And you'll never believe it, the ultimates are actually called Bill, Ben, Boston, Bastion, Boosh, Basil. The Ranger claims the multi-target missile battery, 
the Colossus packs a multi-shot siege cannon to quickly clear out those areas, the Storm aptly pulls upon the elements of Anthem, firing fire, frost, and electricity at the baddies. Whilst the interception gets all creedy with an assassin's blade that inflicts damage for 10 seconds on an enemy. But as with everything on this game, the ultimates are entirely up for change. How good? Everything about this game is so flippant, but something that is set in stone is that Sean Bean is going to die. I mean, we're all gonna die. A new Hitman 2 trailer has dropped, featuring the sequel's elusive target, Sean Bean. An elusive target, by the way, is a target that only appears once in a 10-day cycle, so you have one shot to catch him, or he goes away, and you have to wait for the cycle to go around again. I really want this game. The trailer shows off the insanity of the objects that can be used in your Hitmaning. Best of all is a rubber ducky. This makes so much more sense. Hitman 2 drops November 13th. Next up, Smash Bros keeps coming. A game so big, it gets its own Nintendo Directs. In the latest Smash Direct, which sounds very painful, Ninty revealed the game would receive DLC post-launch. Each pack including a new fighter for the roster, not an Echo, a new stage and a selection of new music to accommodate the new items. The individual packs will cost $5.99 US dollars, with a fighter's pass for $24.99 US dollars, granting you the first five DLCs. Surprisingly, people didn't like that Nintendo are giving them more content, you know, you have to pay for it, you don't have to buy it though, it's not mandatory. Grow up, you get to play as a plant. That's right, the Direct's biggest takeaway, for me, is that you'll be able to play as the Piranha Plant in Super Smash. The new fighter will be available for free for a limited time post-launch. Basically, buy the game at launch or you'll never be able to get inside Peter the Piranha. It's a sentence I'm not used to saying quite yet, but a sentence I'm very good at saying is, it's time for the upvote. Red Dead Redemption is taking over all human life, slowly but surely. We don't know why we're playing the slow, monotonous cowboy game, but we've lost hours of our life now. One player lost more time than most though, as they traveled back in time seven years. Red Dead Coyote Mation glitched his way into Mexico, the location of the first Red Dead title. Whilst most just seems like generic deserted landscape, the appearance of El Presido solidifies an almost one-to-one -one recreation of the original title. Whether for future DLC or Red Dead Online, for fans of the series, it's exciting to know that there are plans to return to the previous game's land. If you want to know how to get there yourself, check the link down below. But that is all the gaming news I have for you today. If you enjoyed, remember you can hit that like button and also subscribe for more stuff. So subscribe. And feel free to jump on over and give our Facebook and Instagram pages their respective followables too. Also, we have a Patreon. There's now 15 beautiful humans that have dropped by and dropped into our super secret Discord. Just two bucks will get you in there. But remember, look after yourself first. And a way you can look after yourself is by sticking around here, because this week on Edo, oh, that wasn't a good link. Tonight, I check out Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine. How exciting. A hole. Josh and I wrap up all things PAX. <laughs> and I give you my thoughts on this year's Spacey Wacy film. But until the next video, bye bye and remember, you can click on the things up there. There's two things up there. I guess one of them's linking to the Indiana Jones video, maybe. I don't freaking know. You can hit the subscribe button over there if you haven't already. It's very hot. As I said, 39 degrees is an exaggeration. It's more like 37.